Hello everyone, today we got to play 10. So this is another game that we picked up at Gen Con. Um, so before we get into it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because we have some amazing videos coming up. For an example, what is coming up? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Great Western Trail, I know that one's coming up. We got Vagrant Song. Ooh. So That's we got a couple. A very popular one. I got someone offered me two hundred dollars to buy the game from me. So, uh, so we will... we held on to it though. We held firm. Yeah, yeah. No, but I think we'll be it playing. I think it will be after this one. So let's dig into this particular game. Randy, tell us more about Ten. So Ten was a uh, AEG release at Gen Con uh, twenty twenty one, obviously. Uh, one to five players. It mm -hmm. plays in 15 to 30 minutes, and that's about right. Mm -hmm. Age is 10 and up. I'm not sure that it really needs to be 10 and up, uh, as long I as you know your numbers. This. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, you know, I mean, some of the strategy, I guess, maybe as far as the yeah, push but or a lot. I mean, but it's not hard. I mean, I, Sarah probably could have beat me. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Everyone beat you. Um, Again, don't want to talk about it. Keep so, going. Uh, designed by Molly Johnson, Robert Melvin, and Sean Stankowicz. Uh, art was also by Sean Stankowicz. And as I mentioned, it was AEG. I uh, don't know what the MSRP is on this. It hasn't come out yet. But these were given out as part of the Big Game Night at AEG. And it was one of the three games we played at the Big Game Night. So. Okay, yeah, so let's talk about quality of pieces. I like their little um, resource thing yeah, that they, they look, got they here. They look like Go pieces. They they look like something, but they're they've got they're really nice. I like them. I get I like those. Um, the cards themselves, there's no linen finish, but I do think they're pretty. Well, they got the thick. glossy on the the back and front as far as the numbers. I like the look of them. Yeah. Um, yeah, the t they are sturdy. They're they are very sturdy. But yeah, they're, they're not linen finished. So, I mean, overall quality, I'm probably going to, for a card game, I would probably give this a 7. What do you think? Yeah, I think seven's a fair score for it. Mm -hmm. So, um, overall team. Uh, it's numbers. It, it's numbers and colors. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing else to it. So, I'm going to go uh, with... Um, can you opt out a theme? Because there is one. Yeah, there is definitely no theme. We've done it before. We've done it with the uh, Lions game that gave you nightmares. I don't like that game. Uh, Rob and I did. But yeah, I mean, there's no theme to this. It's purely numbers. Yeah, so... I mean, if you want to be rated on art, I mean, it is um, pretty. I do like the yeah. cards. The colors on them are beautiful. They um, did a really good job with yeah, pretty cards. Yeah, they look really stylish, and I love the gloss they put on the front and the back. Um, so what would you give it a so score, So for own purely on art, because there is no story or theme to this, uh, I, I'm going to give it an 8. I really like the colors. Oh, this. wow. Impressive. I've got a beef because they didn't use purple as one of their colors. <laughs> well, they gave you pink. I mean, it's pink-purplish. If you mix it really close, like flick back and forth between the blue and the pink really fast, you can... Maybe make purple in your eyes. Again, uh, they they stole some of my soul by not having purple. Um, <laughs> Maybe that's the expansion. Yeah, so I'm fine with whatever. Um, no, I think it that'll is be very... 10.5. That's not what I said. Oh, no, you mean the that, expansion. That would be the expansion's name, 10.5. It's be adding purple. Oh, you're confusing me. I'm too tired for this. All right, <laughs> which is funny because it's like midday, like yeah. it's early afternoon. I didn't have a nap, guys. That's why. Um, so let's talk about... Oh, well, what'd you score it? I didn't give it a score, because I just... You know, the art is pretty, but I, it's definitely not no way. You know, it's... it's. There are some amazing themed games out there that we haven't given an 8, and I can't give I it an 8. I said it was purely on art. No, I didn't I, say... I get you, but I'm not even that... Okay. A ...huge fan of geometry art, but it is very pretty. <laughs> Because it's literally what it is. You've got like a All water right. droplet. So you're over abstaining? There. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, basically I'm abstaining from this one because yes, the art's pretty, but I don't think it, it doesn't have a theme. So. All right. Um. So moving on so to rule rules. Um. So you were taught this at AEG, at AEG, right? The rule book is 16 pages long. Mm -hmm. uh, but part of that is there's a solo variant, but that's like two pages of it. Uh, this game is super simple. The there's a cheat sheet on the card, which gives you basically everything you need to know. Um, 
matter of fact, at the AEGB game night, they gave us a one sheet that had the front and back for three games. This was one of them. So it only took like less than a page to get it. So this is excessive as far as the book goes. Um, there's there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's perfectly fine as far as a book. It just 12 pages seems excessive. Okay, so, so what would you give it a score wise? I'll give it a 7.5 just because there's a lot of, re of excess. In when there. all you need is this bad boy. Yeah, it's not hard. I mean, you. And honestly, because of this little bad boy, I'm actually going to give it higher because this is all I read anyway. <laughs> 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 oh, how do you play this game? Where's the cheat sheet? Crap. You know, like, but this is this was good. So I'll probably give it an 8 because the cheat sheet was really nice. Yeah. Um, so then let's talk about actual gameplay. So this is a press your luck game. Yeah, it's got a little rummy into it, but it's more press your luck. So basically you start going at it. You start flipping over cards and you decide when you want to stop. Now, the thing is, is you cannot get a hand of greater than 10 value. Otherwise you bust. Which, or negative 10. So or negative 10. 10. Or, or 10 black dots. Yes, 10 black dots. It should be, yes. Yeah, Except because it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for example, I have a one green, so that gives me a one. Oh, I got a seven, that gives me an eight. I'm probably going to stop here, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to keep flipping. Oh, I got a four, I busted. So, those actually go into the bid pile for later. I take a three, that's it. Now, one thing we didn't see, here's a five, here's a four, that's a nine. I would have definitely stopped. Uh, I'm looking for specifically, I'm going to cheat a little bit here, guys. Um, we'll do this first. So I have a five and a four here. This is nine. But then I draw this card. So this card subtracts five from the total. So then I only have um, a four value. So then I flip it over and I end up with a 10. So I'm going to obviously take all these cards. Now, the thing is, not all of them. Not all of them. I'm only going to take the or Well, no, I could choose. A I could take the five um, black tokens, which I'll need to bid, uh, use them for bidding and buying, or I can opt to take all these three cards. Now this is a four, five, six in orange. I would be silly not to take the cards, but okay. then everyone else gets five of these that are playing. So yay, you have stuff yeah. to bid on now. Now, um, if a wild art is going to come up, oh look, another wild, look at that, man. So this wild comes up and everyone takes the opportunity to bid starting for the person after the play, the active player. So, Randy, how much would you like to bid for this well, wonderful... Well, I have five here, so I will bid five. Okay, cool. I don't have any, so congratulations, you won the card. Well, you could discard cards for it. Yeah, so. but I'm not doing right, my so beautiful four packs. I pay that, I get this, I get to add it to my collection. Uh, so you are trying to collect that. sequences of numbers. So you, you only get points for your longest sequence of each color. So having a one, two, four, five is not going to get you anything but two points because you have the one, two, or the four, five. But if you had the three in the middle, then you would have five points. Yeah. So um, I'm used to playing hearts. I'm used to playing Remy, and I just I always keep my hand and just draw as many cards as I can until the very end, and then I slot them. That does not work in this game. <laughs> no, no, because you will bust. And I bust if you it. bust, you get Listen. penalized heavily because yeah, yeah. You, cannot, you don't get any cards and you can't buy any. You get a consolation prize of these black it's tokens so are worth one, crappy. but the whites are worth three. So you get a white, which gives well, you Well, and listen, value. sometimes you busted, like, okay, so the first time I got, like, a black five, a black four, and I had, like, a one, a two, and a three, and I was like, okay, well, I, I have plenty of space, but then I drew another black one, and then, I, like, it, it kept doing, I like, the, the luck factor was not in my favor for this one. Yeah, because you can bust by getting 10 or more pips, or I mean 11 or more pips. You can bust from getting 11 or more on the, the number cards. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you, you don't think you're going to bust because you're offsetting your numbers by these pips, but it can still bust. But, I mean, like I had a 2 and then I drew a 9. Well, that happened to me as well. I mean, that there's 9s in the deck. You know they're there. So eventually right. they're going to come up. Yeah, well, I would have preferred them not come up as my second card and more of my first, thanks. <laughs> I mean, they, you know, there's some reality there. Um, mm -hmm. So, give it a score. I mean, what are your thoughts about this game, my friend? Uh, I like this game. I didn't like it as well as the other game, the Whirling Witchcraft, that mm -hmm. we learned at the big game night. Which you should, I, which you, if you guys haven't seen the review, 
Go check it out. Yeah, I mentioned during that review that this was coming up and that I liked it as well. I think I'm probably at a 7 on this one. I, I thought it was a solid game for an AEG light small box game. It is fun. I like the pressure luck element. And it's very pretty. So I don't like pressure luck because I always end up losing horribly and I can just never gauge. I'm not a good pressure luck person, um, but I do like Rummy. I do like trying to collect sets of stuff. So um, I'm actually probably, it is a solid game. It's a valid game. Um, it has, I see a lot of people liking this. I, I didn't because the pressure luck character. I mean, and by, by I didn't, it was fine. I don't not like it. I just don't like it either. Do you actually have an opinion on this, or are you going to uh, bounce all around it? Well, I'm going to probably give it a six. Okay. And because it is a, it is a solid game for somebody else. So, please don't make me play this again. I didn't mean to make you play it before. I thought we were just trying all these games uh, out. We are. We are, because we can't play anything else until our 10 calls are done. <laughs> You're the one who made that declaration. I did. I did. And we've already broken it. So you Well, know, you so. broke it. I did not. Uh, well, to be fair, Robert broke it by bringing new people over. See? It's all Rob's fault. Yeah. Blame Rob. Rob, it's your fault. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, I had a, I had a blast. Uh, uh, not playing this game? Well, it was more of I like the people I'm with, and I love hanging out with you guys. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. Well, so until next time, we'll uh, find another game that Miranda can hate. And uh, listen, why have I been the Simon the lately? I'm just saying. You're, I have you been. Are, I've totally the been the Simon lately. Yeah, I, I, I'm very uh, easygoing and like lots of games. <laughs> okay, one second. That is a bunch of bull lucky. <laughs> And we all know it, right? Right. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. We'll talk to you guys later. All right. Bye. bye.